So I had a flight from Sydney, Australia across to Perth today and the flight departed just after sunset and once we were established in the cruise, this is the view we had for well over an hour. As we were heading west at over 450 knots, the twilight lasted significantly longer than had we been on the ground and it was a perfect opportunity once again to demonstrate that the horizon actually does drop. It does absolutely not always rise to our level as the flat earthers claim. This uh, green line here is the true level. The circle here is what's called the velocity vector. Now that's indicating the flight path of the aircraft. When the velocity vector is in line with this true level line, the aircraft is flying level. It's not climbing or descending. And you'll see that in the altimeter here. You can see that the actual Earth's horizon is several degrees below true level. Okay, and that's just confirming with an accurate reference that the horizon is dropping. It's not always rising to our level as the flat earthers claim. My challenge to you guys is that if you're going to make that claim, show me real footage that you have taken yourself with an accurate reference because that's what I'm doing. This is real footage from an aircraft that I've taken myself with an accurate reference that verifies the horizon has dropped. If you're going to make the claim that the horizon always rises to our level, show it to me with a reference, please. The other thing that uh, I took the opportunity to do is just a bit more on the Iotvos effect. And if you have a look here, if you remember my previous video when we were flying east, it was showing 0.99 on the aircraft G meter. Well, flying west, it was showing 1.00. So that's again confirming the rotation of the Earth because when we're flying east, the aircraft is experiencing 0.01 less G than when flying west, okay? And that's because it's following the curvature of the Earth. And when it's flying east, the actual speed of the rotation around the curvature is much faster because we have the aircraft velocity added to the rotation of the Earth. And that's resulting in apparently less G. And we don't have that effect flying west because we're flying in the opposite direction to the Earth's rotation. And here is yet more evidence of that point. So anyway, I'll play the uh, video footage from today and it's just probably nothing new. You know, you've seen it all before, but uh, it was just a nice clear day today. So I took the opportunity to, uh, to make another video.